so here i am showing you watman filter paper number this is 42 this is the size of the pores of the filter paper and here it is analytical chromatography tlc plates on which it is written tlc silica gel 60f 254 so here this is the tlc plate which is one side coated with silica gel 60 and here one side aluminum sheet so it is having silica gel s60 60 is the millipore size and f254 is the fluorescent indicator which is in the coating 254 is just for the uh, wavelength this is watman filter paper and here we have sheet of watman filter paper for tlc purpose filter paper and here we are having the glass plate on which we are going to prepare the tlc thin layer chromatography with silica gel g g stands for gypsum which is act as a binder in this i'll first take some amount of silica gel this is depends on the number of tlc plates you need to prepare so accordingly you have to take the powder now add some distilled water to this make a slurry so slurry should be like this it should not be more thick or more dilute because if it will be thick then there will be cracks on the tlc plate so we will formally spread it on the glass plate take care that no bubble should be there and now tap it i prepared the second plate also i will keep them for four 5 to 10 minutes as such and now after 10 minutes i am just going to keep these tlc plates inside the preheated hot air oven at 100 degrees centigrade i'll heat them for half an hour and then i will leave it as such now coming to the alumina sheet tlc plates how we are going to use such type of tlc plates if we do not have the material to prepare the tlc plates so first mark on the back side of the alumina sheet cut down as per your requirement this is my container so less than its height i have to prepare so it is my tlc plate of 2 by 4 inches now we are going to make origin line which is 1 cm above the bottom of this tlc plate on this line we have to put our sample and mark on the aluminum sheet very swiftly otherwise this tlc will be tear off and similarly we are going to cut down the watman filter paper in the same dimension for the same developing chamber for paper chromatography and we will also make the line here we are having alumina sheet watman filter paper and the tlc plate which we have prepared i am taking it out from the oven so you can see it now we are going to load the solute solute is red and blue marker ink so on the paper i have loaded this this is the solvent which is methanol is to chloroform in 9 is to 1 ratio and now i am going to dip this filter paper in this solvent chamber this is also known as developing chamber so this solvent should be below this origin line now you can see the solvent is moving upwards as capillary action and this carries solute upward side
Now, similarly, we have put the sample over this glass chromatography. It is TLC plate. And I also kept this inside the chamber. And one more thing, if you are using organic solvents, then you always keep your chamber closed so that it will not evaporate and its composition do not change with time because of it evaporates right so you can see this TLC is thin layer chromatography and the mechanism for this TLC is adsorption right on the solid phase whereas for paper it is liquid liquid so there is the mechanism of partition here you we are having partition mechanism right that is why we are seeing the different kind of pattern here on the TLC as well as on the paper here the left one so solvent and solute is moving so the third one on the left hand side is the mixture of blue and red ink now coming to the retention factor so here this is the retention this retention factor i have discussed in my earlier video so you can go and check there so it is important to check that video also and i hope you like this thank you